Hello to everyone, this is Mind Mastery, and today we want to take you on a journey of manifestation, mindfulness, and a better future. This video is for you if you're prepared to discover the mysteries of your mind and body and finally make good changes in your life. To ensure you don't miss any of our groundbreaking content, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell before we start. Now let's begin. When people start to ask, what's your point? They make it clear what they want to do, and then they write it down. Research shows that less than 2% of Americans actually write down their goals or intentions, but those who do have an 80% chance of reaching those goals. When you write something down, you're telling your brain that you mean it. It's a direction you're going in and it has to be ongoing. It's an A to B statement, which means you're moving from point A to point B. Once you're clear on your intention, make a list of the reasons why you want to be healthy. These sponsoring thoughts are what will really get you moving in that direction. If it's good, you might want to look better, feel better, or have more energy. If it's wealth you want, freedom is what you really don't even do whatever you want, right? So when you start to define your intention and pair it with a sponsoring thought, you're giving your body an emotional taste of what that future will be like. The next step is to plan your actions and master your days one day at a time. You've already broken down an old part of yourself, so you say, today I'm going to think that I'm a genius and I can do anything I set my mind to. I will relax and enjoy life and let the universe provide everything that I need. How do I want to present myself? I'm going to get up and work out or I'm going to read that article on success or whatever it is. I'm going to make a choice and then I'm going to raise my emotional state and keep my energy up all day to day. Just that simple process. You've already changed the biological level. Now if you get up and you prime review and remind yourself who you're going to be, then the next step is to preset your body and mind to be that personality. Get your actions to match your goals and then do what you set out to do that day. In other words, when your actions match your goals and your thoughts match your actions, your mind and body are working as one. At this point, you have mastered what you set out to do and when you start to see the results of your choices, those new experiences will begin to reinforce the emotion you created from your goals. You're creating a new software for your brain and that software will become the new you. Watch how things change. Take a moment to write in a journal or keep a small whiteboard on your wall and say something to the effect of, I got up earlier, I went for a 20 minute walk and I did deep breathing exercises before I went to bed. I feel great, I'm gonna do it again and my definition of a genius is being uncomfortable and being okay with it. When I can stay in that place of uncertainty and unknown and I can transmute that energy into clarity, you're just sure you won't go back to those old wants and urges. Finally, cue your surroundings. Take a moment and put a reminder of your future on your dashboard, in your car, at your desk at work, on the mirror, in your bathroom, or on the fridge. Simple little cues, like words or pictures, and if you keep your conscious mind on what you want, your subconscious mind will take you there. The hardest part about change is not making the same choices you did the day before, so you can tell yourself, okay, I have some pretty hard thoughts to get over today. Let's just bring them out and look at them right now so that when they come up, I know they're not me and that's my old self. I've been a victim for too long. I'm not going to complain about anyone or anything today and I'm not going to make excuses for myself. So when you realize this is the person I'm going to become and these are the things I have to leave behind, that simple analogy will help you get clear on the direction you're going and let that energy push you. Now that energy is like the flame on the alchemist's crucible. It will turn base metals into gold and remove the dross. But purification takes a lot of frustration that our nervous systems are experiencing and have to really adjust it. So our mission in life is really to get rid of all of these barriers, these masks of routines and sentiments that block the flow of the supreme within us. We hope you're blown away so far, but the best information is yet to come. So make sure that you stay with us and keep immersing yourself in this wisdom. I'm really excited to see what you display if you think that your emotions have something to do with your manifestations, if you believe that your thoughts have something to do with your destiny. The same thoughts lead to the same decisions, which lead to the same actions, which lead to the same experiences, and we expect the same feelings or emotions from those experiences, which are the result that keep us thinking the same things. So that's our biology. How we think, how we act, and how we feel affects our neurocircuitry, neurochemistry hormones, and even how our genes are expressed 
how we think, how we work, and how we feel makes up our personality, and our personality makes up our inner self. So the present personality of the person listening to this show has created the current personal reality called their life. If you can grasp this idea, if you want to create a new life, a new personal reality, you have to change your personality. This means you should start thinking about what you've been thinking about and changing it. You should also become aware of your unconscious actions, habits, or behaviors and change them. That will keep us connected to the past and help us decide if these feelings belong in our future. Most people try to create a new intimate reality with the same personality, but it doesn't work. You literally have to become another person. The principle of neuroscience is that nerve cells that fire together wire together. If you continue to think the same way, making identical decisions, doing the same activities and having the same experiences, you'll create the same networks of neurons. We have to break free from those programs and most people don't want to deal with the discomfort that comes with doing something different or making a new choice. People are afraid of the unknown because they'd rather live in guilt and know who they're going to be then take a chance on possibility. Really start to think about it. At the end of the day, ask yourself, I do this every day. How do I do it today? How did it go? Did you do well? Where did you lose your way? What happened that made you fall asleep and stay asleep for the rest of the day? What was that moment? How could I improve my experience now? You may have to look for the best answers or you may think about it for a long time and say, next time that happens, I think I'll do this or I'll do that. So as we journey through the labyrinth of life, let's not forget that the most potent tool we possess is our own consciousness. It's the master key that unlocks the doors to our desired reality. You've heard it said, as a man thinks, so is he. And this ancient wisdom holds the secret to your transformation. When you align your thoughts, emotions, and actions, you create a trifecta of unstoppable energy that propels you toward your destiny. Imagine your life as a canvas, and you're the artist holding the brush. Every stroke is a decision. Every color, a thought, and the overall composition reflects your emotional state. If you've been painting in shades of doubt, fear, and limitation, it's time to clean your brush and dip it into the hues of possibility, courage, and abundance. You're not just creating art, you're crafting your life story. The power of intention is like the North Star guiding sailors through uncharted waters. When you set your intention, you're plotting a course for your journey. But remember, the map is not the territory. You'll encounter storms, face obstacles, and perhaps even drift off course. That's where your sponsoring thoughts come in serving as your internal compass, reminding you why you embarked on this journey in the first place. Now, let's talk about the daily grind, the routines, the habits, the seemingly mundane tasks. These are your building blocks, the DNA of your success. Each day is an opportunity to lay another brick on your path. So when you wake up, don't just rise, ascend with purpose. Prime your mind, condition your body, and elevate your emotional state. You're not just passing time, you're crafting moments that contribute to your masterpiece. And what about setbacks, the inevitable curveballs life throws your way? See them not as obstacles, but as opportunities for growth. Your challenges are your greatest teachers, and they arrive precisely when you're ready to ascend to the next level. Embrace them, learn from them, and integrate their lessons into your being. You're not just solving problems, you're evolving your soul. As you walk this path, keep a record of your journey. Journaling is not just an act of self-reflection, it's a dialogue with your future self. It's a way to track your evolution and gain insights into the patterns that either propel you forward or hold you back. You're not just writing words, you're scripting your destiny. 